Hey guys, my name is Haley, and today I will be filming the mid-year book freakout tag because I was tagged by Melissa from the Bookish Babblers, so let's get started. Question number one is the best book that you've read so far this year. It was kind of a toss-up between a whole series that I read a couple weeks ago or this book, but I decided on this one, and that is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I loved this book, I love this world, I love the characters, and I'm just so excited for the third book in this series to come out. Question number two is the best sequel you've read so far in 2016. For that I'm gonna go with Lois Lane Double Down, just not even because it's like the most amazing series of all time, but I just love the romance in this series like it's the cutest thing they talk through like I am and text sort of thing I just love the two main characters in this series and I love that she goes on all these little adventures to try and solve mysteries and it's just so much fun number three is a new release you haven't read yet but you want to and for this I'm gonna go with the star touched queen by Roshani Chaksky because number one that book is beautiful and number two, I just, I'm really interested in the concept of it, and I would like to give that a read whenever I can get my hands on it. Number four is the most anticipated release for the rest of the year, and that is definitely going to be A Torch Against the Night and Gemina, because I need them in my life. Those were my two favorite books of last year, and some of my favorite books of all time, if we're being honest, and I cannot wait to get my hands on those sequels. Question number five is your biggest disappointment. To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I really enjoyed her Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy, so I was like, oh, I'll probably like this. The cover's beautiful. It sounds like a lot of fun, like, love letters get sent out accidentally. That sounds like a good time, but <laughs> I did not like this book at all. I think I gave it like two stars, which is pretty low rating for me. And I think I gave the sequel a little bit higher of a rating, but not by much. And I don't really love contemporary, but this one I just especially just, just did not like. I didn't like Lara Jean. No. Question number six is the biggest surprise. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I wasn't expecting to love this. I thought I would probably like it because it's fantasy. It's right up my alley of things that I usually like. But I actually fell in love with this world and like with Eastwolt especially. And just the Blood Witch and everything. After the beginning part where I was very confused, once I got into it, I was into it. Like, I needed to know what was going to happen, and I can't wait for the sequel to this, and I hope that it's just as good. Favorite author that is either a debut or new to you, I'm going to go with Tahara Mafi, who wrote the Shatter Me trilogy, because I loved that trilogy, and I just loved her writing style. And I know there's a lot of people that don't really like the way that she writes and says it's too repetitive and too many metaphors, but I actually really enjoyed it and I thought it was very different and I'd never read anything like it. So definitely Tahara Mafia and I can't wait for her new book to come out. Question number eight, newest fictional crush. I don't really get fictional crushes that often, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Jason from Winter or the Lunar Chronicles. Him and Winter were just absolutely adorable and he's definitely up there on the favorite guys list. Question number nine is new favorite character, Mace from the Tearling trilogy. I love him so much and I loved him even more in the second one even though the second book was really weird for me but I really really loved him and he's definitely made it up to my favorite characters list. Question number 10, book that made you cry. I don't think I have to explain myself. Question number 11, book that made you happy. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. And the thing is, is that the Lunar Chronicles isn't my favorite series of all time or anything like it is for a lot of people. But I really liked the couple that's in the epilogue story in this bind up. And I was really glad that those are the ones that they picked to be in the epilogue and be the main focus of it, so. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Question number 12, a beautiful book.
this. Question number 13, a book or books that you need to read by the end of the year. Literally any of the series that I've started that are not finished yet. <laughs> or that I haven't finished yet. Namely, the Cormoran Strike series by Robert Galbraith, Beautiful Creatures series by Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. I would like to finish the Fifth Wave trilogy by reading The Last Star, which I don't own yet. I would like to read The Rose and the Dagger, which is the sequel to The Wrath and the Dawn because it's a duology. And even though I didn't love that first one, I think I am gonna finish off the duology. And then I wanna read Burning Kingdoms by Lauren DeStefano because I've read the first two books and I just need to finish off the trilogy. Question number 14, favorite community member. I decided to go with some of the newer favorites of mine, like within the last month or two, I think, maybe a little bit longer since I've subscribed to them. Natasha from Fairy Drugs, because I just have been loving her videos for some reason. I love her hair, I love her books, I love the way she explains things. Molly from Molly Reads, who I think is relatively new to booktube, and I just love that she's an editor and the way she explains her topics and such is just fantastic. Sierra from Sierra's Reading Corner, because she just went to New York with, I think, her choir or something like that and she vlogged the whole thing and I just loved her vlogs so much. You should definitely go check her out. She was amazing. Please watch those vlogs if you have any interest in New York City or just travel vlogs at all because they were great. And that's it. I'm gonna tag a bunch of people, so here we go. I'm gonna tag Michaela from Bookish Branches, Katie from Katie's Book Date, Jill from Midnight Reads, Vanessa from Split Reads, and Oshina from Oshina Loves Rainy. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.